Okay, well, yeah, welcome back, YouTube. If you're watching later, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying, and we're gonna continue. Oops. I, I was trying to talk to the child. I wasn't trying to threaten the child with a barrel. <laughs> just, to, just to be clear. The weather's so bad, you can't even see the sky. Hey, listen to me, mister. Sometimes I see it in my dreams. Do you think that a long time ago people used to live in the sky? I think so. Hey, mister. Just once in my life, I want to see balloons float up right into the sky. If you'll help me realize my balloon dream, I'll give you a treasure I got from the skies. Thanks. Oh. See, this is a tutorial. I can do that. I don't think I ever did this one. Okay, hold on. I think I need at least two for it to work. Oh no, that, yep, that, that worked perfectly. It's flawless execution on, on the balloon there. I think I need to stand on... This, this is dumb. Okay. Yeah, easy. Okay. There you go. Wait, where's Link? Link vanished. Link's not there anymore. Where's Link? Link is gone. Floaty balloon soaring high in the sky. Fly up and away to the land of the clouds. I want to visit the land in the sky by balloon. Then I'm going to ride a really big bird. Yep, that's my dream. Thank you, mister. This is a treasure from the sky. Take it. Hey, that's a good reward. He's a ghost. I mean, that would be a plot twist. He really did die a hundred years ago. He was in the barrel. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, that's a good reward. I, worth doing that one. You also learn a good lesson. Okay, so we're gonna just finish clearing out this area here, and then we'll head to the snow. Um, there's a stable further along over here, so I'll use this one to cook whatever I need to cook. If you haven't seen a barrel in real life, balloons would not lift it up that easily. <laughs> Barrels are pretty damn sturdy. I suppose they're Octorok balloons, but still. Well, looks like I missed one here. But this, see, this is a multi-shot. It'd be a shame to lose the multi-shot one. Three, three, six. I didn't really look at this area properly. I know there was a Korok, but... Because it's a high danger area. And of course it's raining again. Ooh. I 
I mean, I'm just gonna take a picture of it. I don't think I have I had any use for it. I know, an Australian putting down a boomerang. Choosing not to wield the mightiest of weapons. I'll have a look around because, yeah, I mean, Korok potential. Why does it always rain when I'm here? <laughs> ah! decided that after like the week I'm having in terms of being busy I'm definitely gonna do the the platter thingy it's just gonna be a good way to unwind Don't, don't worry. All good. Under control. <laughs> Please. Please! Just... Rain, stop. I just want... I just want... To explore. That's probably a weapon I don't have a picture of, because it's early. Yep. Okay. I think, I think we're good. Because I feel like in the middle there it's unlikely there's, there's any. I think the only one was directly above here. And then that's just the, the tower climb, which I would have definitely come across it if it were a thing. Oh, made it. It 
that's probably a bad move. <laughs> the pile of bones next to this chest. Ah, uh, oh, oh, yep, made it. <laughs> okay, we're out of here. So, I mean, this is something I don't understand, right? There's a, ho there's a house here. Who would make a house on a slope going this far downwards? You know what I mean? This does not seem like prime real estate. <laughs> in terms of building a house. Very questionable. The others are here, it's fine, right? Oh, it's Raru. But that... That building on the side, I, I don't get it. Why would anyone build a house there? I could help you. This way, friends. Nearly. Oh, piss off. That one worked. One more. Oh, shit. <laughs> but it's dead. Okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me talk. Just where did you learn to take down monsters of that caliber? I almost want to invite you to join us for a share of the loot, but nah. This little thank you is all you get. <laughs> really? Thank Hylia that Mina is safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Alright, fine. Um, see how you do against these skeletons. Hey, skeletons. Really? No, you're not gonna... Okay. <laughs> Tunnel vision. Can lead a horse to water, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to drink. Yeah, not crossing that bridge. That's bad news there. Big truffle! Nice. It's okay, I think they're hunting the goat. Not me.
Let me look. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole... Whole riverbank down the bottom. I think this tower here, well, this area is probably the least dense. It's just... Because of the Lost Woods in that area where it's pitch black, there's just not many Koroks in it. It's just... Yeah, it's kind of a pretty boring <laughs> area. But it's gotta be done. Okay. Don't you dare. That's such a cool view. So if there was more stuff like that in Tears of the Kingdom, just something massive and it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's a big area I want to go explore and complete. Something of that scale. This is gonna go one of two ways. All this talk about the game, Tears of the Kingdom, it's either gonna be, it's going to be what I'm talking about and the hype is correct, or man, just in retrospect later, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be sad. Just all the expectations of what, what we're gonna get. I hope it's not the case, but you know. I think we're in pretty good shape. Now... The last blood moon hasn't happened for a while, and there is that shrine that requires it, which is nearby. I think it'll be good and meet expectations. I I think it'll be fun, no matter what. It's more just this business of dungeons. It's it's hard to say. It's like that episode of South Park where. Cartman can't wait for the Wii and ends up uh, ends up doing something stupid to make the day come quicker. It's so close and yet it feels like it's ages away still. Yeah ha ha Yeah ha ha Oh, crap. Why are you here? I don't remember if there's one at the top of these. I feel like there might be. Just climbing these is kind of a pain in the ass, but I feel like I remember that they did have something at the top. Or I'm remembering incorrectly, and this is a colossal waste of time. No, this is a colossal waste of time. You can't climb these. It slips. I think one of them, you, it is possible to walk up it, but... Otherwise, colossal waste of time. Yeah. 
That is a high ox, and I'm gonna head up the hill. I, if I remember correctly, this island is, is there's no point. There's nothing there. It's that, yeah. It was a weird one. I remember getting to that island and being really disappointed. There was nothing there, not even the Korok. It's just a bunch of skeletons that appear at night, and that's it. I think there also should be a memory somewhere around here. It's the one all the memes come from. I guess this is new tower territory. I think... Hang on, let me look at that tree. It's somewhere around here. Because it has the castle in the background and these hills, so... It's somewhere around here. This looks very picturesque. Just have to look for the glowing light. There it is. Yeah, it's here. Which, when I went and got this Korok, I'm surprised it didn't click, but whatever. Alright. Link's about to true. The mask just makes this so much better. There's one. Oh, this is probably one of the only nice memories that you get. Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They are also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. <gasps> this one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here, in the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. Oh, is that what I think it is? Look at this! 
I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! <laughs> Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> Eat the frog link. Do it. Down the gullet. Uh. You know, the interesting thing is the cutscene shows the flower here, but it, it's not here. At all. I, I found that a little off putting. Anyway. That was a hundred years ago. I suppose. But then there are other things where it looks basically identical from a hundred years ago. And the stuff is correct. I mean, I, I can't argue with the logic. Oh, man, Just every time I, I hear the concept of, like, time passing through the space of a hundred years, I just think of when I graduated, university that is, the speech that the head of the university made, oh my god, just... Not only did the dude have such a monotone voice, just not really someone fun to listen to, but the speech was about... And I suppose it, 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 it stuck with me, but for the wrong reasons. But the whole thing was, it was a speech about just how short life is. That was the thing he was trying to get across. And he used the book that apparently I Am Legend is based off, or something like that. And it, it goes with what would happen to civilization or signs of civilization if it was to have a catastrophic event happen and you know the book goes on about breaking up how things would look like 10 years into the future 20 years etc etc until it gets up to 100 years in the future and this dude basically almost read the whole book just it was like you know 10 years into the future and then he would describe something 20 years into the future it was a speech that went for about 40 minutes <laughs> it's an interesting topic because the, the point of it is is like after about a hundred years signs of humanity will basically be gone it's like it, it wears out and nature takes back everything if a hundred years of nature just taking its toll on buildings and not being maintained, it's just a lot of signs of modern civilization would be gone. So, anyway. Interesting concept, poor delivery by the dude. I just thought about that then. It's interesting to think about. Another wild one um, is the concept of a, um, a digital dark age. So because uh, most of our information is stored online, right? Imagine there was some sort of catastrophic, catastrophic event that affected all data storage. And the only things that survived are basically classic medium. So, you know, there's not many people take photos and print them out anymore. It's all digital. And if there was a catastrophic event where just these storage mediums were to all, by some, maybe some freak event, which uh, apparently there's some science to it that says it could happen with the sun. 
but um it would be like a large quantity of humanity like records of humanity would be uh wiped out right like because these people only exist in photos that are digital um communications would be all digital right no one writes letters anymore so it'd be a case of uh just this chunk of civilization just vanishing like humanity might continue to exist right it's something that didn't wipe humanity but just for some reason messed up s storage <laughs> it's it's like yeah and there's other stuff as well like are uh, the websites we store things on are they going to be eternal are these companies going to last forever or is it going to be a case of one day when you're gone like long past the days that you and i exist that you know these companies will decide to remove our data because we don't exist anymore or maybe those companies will shut down and then you know because we don't exist anymore we don't claim our data this is very i'm sorry if this is very doomer and like maybe it gets you to think a little too much but anyway There is a 200-year-old abandoned mining community near you that you hike to regularly. The only signs are metal wagon axles and the man-made dams to hold the spring floodwaters. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like that, is like the signs of normal life vanish pretty quickly. And all that remains is just little, little pieces of that, oh, something used to be here. There's no more home movies, everything's on your phone or on the website. Exactly. And, especially with social media, it's just a thing, like... Preservation of someone's life when they're gone. Like, how does that hap- how does that work? Is that eternal, or is that just something where eventually... That's just gonna vanish, too? I mean, it's one of those things where it's up to you to ensure that much like family albums, like that data gets passed on, right? It's just conceptually similar. It's just I don't think people appreciate that, that level of uh, commitment. At least not yet. I definitely have been in, in less photos since um, this whole, like, you know, film photography is less of a thing now. It's just, I'm not really in that many photos. Like, before the age of 20, I'm in plenty of photos. You see me growing up. But then from that period onwards, it's like the amount of photos that I've taken or I'm in are just significantly less and less. It's because you can take as many as you want, and it's, it's the sort of thing that they feel more disposable than what they used to be. Before it was like, you know, taking a photo, you had to go get it developed, and you only had a limited number of photos you could take before you had to go buy another reel. So you were a bit more selective of when you took photos, and they, I guess, had a little more significance. I don't want to sound like a boomer, by the way. Like, I... I love the convenience of digital, but this is just a thought experiment, I guess. Uh, back in my day, we took plenty of photos and they meant something. <laughs> it's not what I'm trying to sound like at all, but, you know, just think about it. Yeah, I'm terrible at taking pictures as well.
I need to buy more arrows. I'm starting to run run out, which is surprising. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Shit. I was even patient. Okay, one. Shit. Oh, bad. I just have to be patient. That's all it is. I um, should have gone there. Should have gone there. Okay. 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 I know which one to look for. Hang on. Your dad hates taking pictures. So he had gone to a funeral. And the person whose funeral he went to, they had so many pictures. So since then, you and your sister now take funeral pictures of your dad. So you have pictures to display. At his funeral when he dies. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Stuff, I mean, that, at least he changed his mind about the pictures. Wait, he didn't? Maybe I misread it because I was trying to... Hold on. So he didn't change his mind? Hang on. Hates changing because went to a funeral. That's so many pictures. You do it in secret. Okay. Fuck. I shot an arrow. Gotcha. I thought he agreed to uh, take photos because he doesn't want to have no pictures. Okay, well that's just different. Yeah, this one sucked. Yeah. But you know what? Candid photography is is often... It's pretty good. Because you catch people when they're being their most natural. I know that sounds creepy, but you, you of course, tell the person that you took the photo, right? It's not like you hide that fact from them. It's more just... When you pose, it, it's just... It doesn't represent the moment and life as it's as it's happening, right? Like I kind of appreciate photos where the person doesn't know they they had a photo taken of them when they're hanging out and being happy, and then they get shown that photo, and it's just it's more representative of the memory as opposed to you know the part where you stop and you smile, right? That's not what you remember at all. You remember instead what was going on around at the time and. Those kind of photos are, for me, in my opinion, they're better. When you're trying to remember something, a fun time. <laughs> you should print out... Print out the, uh... Do you know when an image doesn't load on the internet? Just print that out on a piece of paper and be like, Dad, do you want this to be put in front of your, your casket? This broken image? Because that's what we're going to do if uh, if there's no photos of you. <laughs> Just file not found. You don't want that. I need to purchase more arrows. Mm. 
you're not gonna invite anyone to your funeral, but that would imply that, like... Well, you can't be in charge of your own funeral, right? I, unless you had, like, some legal... You put down in your last wishes, hey, I don't want anyone. But ultimately, I guess it's up to whoever's doing it. One thing I appreciate in the uh, the heritage that I have, it's like they do the whole Day of the Dead thing, which conceptually it's just people continue to live on as long as you take time to remember them and pass on stories about them. So there's something nice about that. Wait, there was no Korok here, really? Oh, there's a line all over there. I remember this one. It is... hang on. I'm facing the right direction. It is here. Okay. Did I hit it? No. <laughs> I just finished beating those things. Come on. Scripted. So this is the area for truffles, I'll keep that in mind. Big temp health. The radish are better, but eh, this works. Still ch they're still chasing. <sighs> I don't know if I should go to that island over there. Beep. I feel like I remember that there's nothing on that island, and yet it'll probably bother me if I don't go there.
Oh. Hold on, I gotta deal with this. <laughs> Oh, those things are so annoying! Ugh. <laughs> uh, this is one of these ones where the nuts are in the air. Spot the nut. <laughs> it's usually in the direction of the pinwheel. I don't see it. Does anyone see it? Go away! Wasn't asking you. Yeah, I don't see it either. Oh, this is just annoying. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it. It could just be a target as well, like maybe it's not necessarily the nut. give up just yet unless I, I don't what okay what oh my god oh no I'm, I'm butchering this one horribly Shit, I'm gonna have to swap to the other bear. Otherwise, I'm gonna get struck by lightning. Really? The worst part about this is just the fact that it started raining, so I had to swap bows. Okay, yeah, I need to get more arrows. Um, this one was the one that I shot the most, so there's probably the most arrows around. Yeah, once again starting to rain at a, at a spot where... I need to use something metallic. Why didn't it appear right away? Was it because I wasn't standing on the stump? Because I was at one point. Okay. 
Maybe I broke the game. Maybe. Wouldn't surprise me. I almost blew myself up. Uh, I should eat one of the cooked meats since I have some. Where is it? Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, man. I want a steak. That Hinox is getting struck by lightning because of the weapons it has on it. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had a good steak, to be honest. I mean, one way, you know, gone, sat down, and it was, it was really good. I've had good ones, but not ones that are just... You know, you go out of your way... ...to have this good steak. Okay, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go across. If there's nothing there, I'm gonna load. And I'm gonna just put a bunch of skulls that'll just remind me, don't go there, it's a, it's a waste of time. Because this to me feels like it should be something. Okay, if you're a steak eater, do you, what, first, temperature, what temperature do you go, and secondly, sauce or no sauce? I mean, medium rare is my go-to, but then the sauce is like, I like, I like anything that has garlic in it or like a mushroom peppercorn one is pretty good. Yeah, this is what I mean. There's there's nothing here. Medium no sauce. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the sauce I guess is there for the sides more than the meat. I don't really dip the meat in the sauce. Like the meat should be able to stand on its own, but I do like getting what is what comes with steaks, like the sauces, and then if I have fries with it, it's just dip the fries and the, the sauce that's intended for the steak. That's usually how I do it. And yeah, yeah, of course, the steak has to be very, very well seasoned. Yeah, there is, there is nothing here. I am loading. Waste of time island.
I think I'll 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 get the message. That island sucks. Don't go there. There's nothing there. It's just I don't want it to be a week later, maybe two weeks later, and I'm hunting down for the last twenty Koroks, and I'm getting desperate, and I'll be like, "Oh, that island! I didn't explore it." No, no, no. You didn't. You did explore it. You. It's just no. It's a waste of time. Don't bother. Stop. <laughs> Go somewhere else. You're wasting your time, sir. <laughs> the last steak I had, it was like, it was a ribeye and it was so good. But I suppose that's good that I don't eat red meat that often. It's not it's not really what I like to eat. Yeah, ribeyes are great. Love them. Australia, they're called Scotch fillet, but you know, they're still known as ribeye as well. Usually have a steak night before you donate blood. Ah, that's a pretty good call. Yeah, get them iron levels up. Like, please. <laughs> coming down here. This looks, uh... Yeah, let me climb back up. No. This, this looks horrible. It's only gonna get worse. They're always calling you. They want your blood. Do you have, uh... Universal donor? I forget what type it is. Or do you have one of the rare ones? It's probably why. I forget how it works, like one's universal donor and the other one's universal recipient.
O minus can give to everyone, but can only get from O minus. Right, gotcha. rain when you need to climb. Wait, what is that? That is a structure. Probably nothing. I think this is just the path to the... this thing here. Oh, but it's not... hmm. Weird. Oh, this isn't... No, this is the entrance. Okay. Then... Hold on. It's only 11.30. I, I thought it was way later. I was looking. Oh, maybe it's it's getting late and it's that time where the midnight brain kicks in. Midnight brain has not kicked in yet. Maybe I'm just feeling tired. <laughs> it's only 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. Well... I do want to get to the mountains, it's just have to make sure I cover all this land. Oh, dragon! Dragon! <laughs> dragon! <laughs> Dragon! I need to get a claw. Okay. That's it. Refresh. The th no, where are you going? 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 Shoot the claw. Excellent. Just drop down on the ground. That's it. That's it. Not off the edge. Yep. Good. Oh, no, there's a Lionel. <laughs> Shit. This happened last time. Uh-oh. And the Korok. Quick, quick. Get out of, get out of sight. Get out of sight. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. I am almost out of ammo, too. Hang on. Oh, 
There's a lot. Oh shit. Don't nope, you don't you don't see anything. Oh, this is not good. Where's where's the last where's the last balloon? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Fucking hell. There it is. It's directly above. I got as got a Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm out. This is still without incident, so we're, we're okay. Still without incident. I just need to get out of here. I could fight it, I could win. It's not the issue, I just don't, I don't want to fight it. I've beaten Lionels before. That, what's that one? That one is the one with the the spear. So it's a pretty good weapon. But now is not the time. Ran away because I killed the bat. That's interesting. Get where the tower is. Oh, you know what? No, I know where it is. It's near the bridge. Again. Um. I. F I mean, I'll try and go for the the horn. <laughs> it's trying to bait me into dying again. Back to back dragon. I need to catch it before it gets too far ahead. I don't think I'm gonna have that luck, unfortunately. It's just it, this is going to be the same shit again. I'm getting a horn. Okay, where's it going? Nice, good dragon. Good, good dragon. Well behaved dragon. I'll oh, piss off. Piss off! This is a good spot to camp out this dragon. Apparently there's there's more that I haven't done here. I think I'm going to swap to this shield. Because otherwise, it's just gonna burn my stuff. I don't want. I don't want to lose. That shield is too fragile. 
and this fire. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. There's like a spot here. Hey, if I'm really lucky, I might get a third dragon. See the towel from here. I just want to check anywhere where there's a group of trees. All right, that'll do. Turn around. Awake! <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. Look, daylight. Go. I'm taking arrows, though. Stops giving you after a certain amount. That's fine. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Have I gotten all the memories? No. I've gotten about half. Because some of them are on the western side of the map. And I just haven't really done the western side of the map yet. <laughs> like... Well, yeah. Roughly. Almost half. I've only done four. Okay, less than half. But see, most of these are on, are on the one side of the map. Or central Hyrule. <laughs> I almost said the C word. I was about to say C word goat. Okay, here's a lesson in Australian. If you want... To insult something that does you wrong. Just the prefix is the C word and then whatever it is. So that was a C word goat. If I was to stub my toe on a door, it would be a C word door.
How's that? Yes, that one's been acquired. Okay. Don't you dare. Good. Right, I will retaliate. Ah, oh, look, more rain. I already missed the Elden area. Elden area was nice, you know? That's the Hinox getting struck by lightning because of its weapons over there in the distance. Still sleeps. Link tiptoeing around wakes up. Scared me a little, not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been struck by lightning once. You like the Sheikah armor because you can just walk up to them. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, yeah. I mean, you can get maximum a maximum health stealth tonic thingy. That also works. But having it in armor form is nice. Nice farming Zalfos horns since you can walk behind them and sneak strike them. Yeah, that makes sense. Have you been doing that much in master mode at all, or is it something are you just ignoring? Wait, did it just get cold? It did. Oh, and I can't wear the. Ooh. Ugh. Okay, I need to get off this for a sec. There we go. Don't have, uh... Yeah, I don't have the option right now to wear the fire sword. Saves a ton of weapon durability, it does a ton of damage. Yeah, but I guess in... Alright, my, my way of playing Master Mode is I don't want to fight a lot of things because... What you get as a weapon replacement from the things you fight are generally inferior. But I suppose if it's taking what it would normally take to fight, in terms of how many weapon hits, then probably worth it. But I'm getting all my monster parts from, like, style creatures. I know that I'm missing out on, on a few, but, you know, it's just, it's just not worth it.
have a ton of weapons and a lot of armor rating there, so it isn't too bad. I suppose when you're not playing the way I am, you, you are spending your Koroks, so... Maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> but this... I have to be super selective of what I fight. You also went into the castle, so you have high-end gear. That makes sense. I, but that stuff doesn't last too long from memory. It's like, it's good, but it breaks pretty quickly compared to other stuff. I like going for Lionel stuff. Lionel stuff is, is quite legit. It's got damage, and then also it lasts longer. Of course, you have to fight the Lionel, but I find it fun. Because it's, it's lightning stopped, yeah. I just I want to explore this mountain. The Royal Guard does break, but there is a tier underneath that's really good. Yeah, I guess I'm referring to the Royal the Royal Guard stuff. That's the stuff that it's like a darker color scheme and it does a lot more damage, but it just doesn't last. Okay, uh, let me now equip this for warmth. Warmth. Please, no lightning. Okay, good, it's snow now. I feel like <laughs> having the wooden shield rest against the fire sword, I don't know. Should that be allowed? In the castle, a master sword gets charged up to do 60 instead of 30 outside of the castle. Yeah. That is nice. But trial of the sword, man, it's just it's mandatory for that sword. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Um, this is better, right? No, stop. Don't pick it up. You, oh, it's only 13. Yeah, I'm into Halberd, though. Anyway, fine. We'll stick with the sword. Which way am I going? This way. I wonder what they're gonna do in terms of, uh... The Master Sword. Like, are we just gonna have it, or is it something that... The story is gonna be like, aha! No longer. Oh, those towers you collected in the previous game? No more. If I was to take a bet, they're going to get destroyed, the towers. Blink will lose the Master Sword. Yeah. I do appreciate how Metroid does, deals with that. They involve it as, like, um, you know, Samus 
gets into a fight. You have your gear, but then, you know, in the escape sequence, it, it gets damaged. Right? I do like that. It at least acknowledges that whatever you got to in terms of power in the previous game, it's it's not thrown out. I do like that detail. There's a annoying shrine just over there. The unfortunate thing is I don't really have that many ancient arrows. So it's one of these things that I'm going to have to go in there and parry stuff. And we're pretty far away from Hatino. Oh, sorry, Akala, not Hatino. I have to take quite the detour to go get more ancient arrows. Oh. See, that's one I didn't do. I suppose it makes sense. It's the one for that stable. I think there's another one coming up here that I will require the horse to get. Yeah, ha ha! You were running through a forest when a deer ran in front of you and you swear it gave you the option to mount it. You can mount deer. You can also get fucked in the face by a pig! <laughs> Man, I haven't died in a while. I would love to say that that's the first time one of those has killed me, but it's not. <laughs> but yes, you can ride deer. It's not just a stag that you can uh, ride. Good, another forest where Octorox can annoy me. It's probably Yiga. I just, I don't like talking to strangers anymore. Stranger danger.
moving people aren't Yuga. You think it's just the ones that are stationary? Maybe. Well, that person was pretty stationary, I think. They weren't moving. At least not that I could notice. Yuga also don't have names above their heads. See, that's something I definitely haven't noticed. I think this is the one that needs a horse. I see the fences. Oh, piss off. <laughs> I need to go get a pona. It's okay, stable is just over here. I just can't believe how accurate they, they are. I don't think they'll follow me here. Oh yeah. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times were extinct due to an extended ice age. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a volcanic eruption. My theory is the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a sudden cataclysmic drought long ago. Oh, pardon me. I've gotten ahead of myself. Ahem. Why did the Leviathans go extinct? That is the question we scientists are trying to answer. However, we haven't yet located Leviathan remains, so we're stuck with theories for the time being. But we do have a general idea of where such remains can be found. Elden Mountains, the Hebra region, and the Garuda region. The climates of these regions are rather extreme. You've got the look of someone who's done a fair bit of adventuring. Would you be willing to find these Leviathan bones and draw a picture of them? I especially want to see the head of the animal. If you can get just a bit of it in the picture, that'd be adequate. Leave it to me. Uh, here. Yeah. Three hundred bones. This is wonderful. You drew this? With this, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathans went extinct as a result of a massive volcanic eruption. Please assist my brothers with their research goals as well. Did you give me my money? Or is it 300 total? That sucks. I want 300 per picture! This information doesn't come easy, you know. <laughs> Doggo! Doggo was, uh, busy. Hey! Huh? Could that be? That's an energetic rhino beetle. It's a rare beetle you almost never see. Consider giving it to the beetle. Party elixir. 
It's a deal. Full recovery. Damn, that's a good one. You don't see this very often. This has to be a sign. Anyway, back to business. Um... Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Yay. Uh. <laughs> you got it once and only once? Yeah, you don't see it that often. Okay, I have ore to sell because I've been mining quite a bit since... Yeah, 27 rubies? Not necessary. I'm selling 15 of them. Well, I have enough money for the house. See, if I have enough money for the house, I should just go... I should just go get the house now and pop into Akala. Like, I know it's a bit of a road trip, but... But also let me stock up on ancient arrows, because it is sort of a good idea to do it. Yay! I'm rich. Look at this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try again for the... the pay-to-win opponent saddle. It's midnight, so I wonder if it, it's a midnight... Reset or like an actual time based one? Not this one. Okay, let's see. Fire arrows. Nope, but that's. We're not taking anything that helps me. In, in a sense of ammo. What's the saddle called? It's called Traveler's Brr Saddle. Yeah. You get it with the amiibo. Oh, there's two chests. Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go. Alright. That's done. Now... Let's see if any of the other ones have reset. I'll save. But I've been collecting, um, Link's clothing. Not weapons or anything, but... Because I will wear one of the hero outfits, just not sure which one. Ex except this one. This one's obviously OP. Because the extra damage. But one of the other ones. Um, let's see if- let's see if it works. Yeah, okay, it's reset. Cool. You can only get them from Amiibo. Uh, the outfits? Yes. What, you don't- you don't want to spend, uh, 15 bucks? Or whatever- you know, it's not even 15 bucks anymore, it's whatever the heck you can pay on eBay for them. I don't think you can buy these retail anymore. It's hard as it goes on because, yeah. Okay. I don't know why it drops crates. It's, it's a bit silly. No, I'll try a couple more times. I don't want to bore people, but every now and then I'll take a little break and try and get it.
Man, come on. I'm trying to get one of the Skyward Sword, uh... ...items. But this is the process, pretty much, is you save before you use it, and then you use it, and then if you hope... You hope enough that, um... It's the clothing item. I... It's usually not this unlucky, especially since I haven't found one for this set. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm trying. Whenever I look for something, that's when it takes forever. There we go. I'll take it. Cap of the sky. Alright. What's the di- so... I mean, okay, yeah, but there is visual difference. Even the hair changes, you can see it. Okay. I just, I wanted to see. Because I'm sure some of these sets, some of you haven't seen, so. Or maybe you have. Um, I need to get a Pona. But otherwise, yeah, not getting any, any of the other items. How do you equip these? How do you- is it just auto-equipped or is it- How do you equip these? Is it just auto-equipped? Or do you have to go to a stable to change it? Bring the horse to the horse lady, okay. You? Some stables don't have horse ladies. It's a bit of a downer. What kind of consistency is that? <laughs> okay, well, I tried. Oh, feels so much better being on the Pona compared to the other horse. I mean, there's still this bullshit, regardless, but at least the horse is quick. Pretty sure this was the Korok for this area. There's like no other one. The other amiibo that I don't want to try is the one that gives you the, the wolf companion like that. That is the one that I think people complained about. It was just really...
come at me. Ooh, not good. This is not the time that I want to be fighting these dicks. Honestly, the best defense is to just stand in front of a tree because the horses are still morons. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. 345. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I appear to have the wrong horse. <laughs> I thought my eyes were... We're tired. I was like, what the fuck? Why does a pona look so weird? It's because it's not a pona. Going back to that shrine, and then we're gonna take a road trip. Yeah. yeah. Ha ha. I want to know what they say after they say yahaha. Ha. Everyone has a different interpretation of it. It's kind of like with uh, the masks from Crash Bandicoot. Everyone thinks it says something different. The the official stance on that, I don't I don't know if I agree with it. But the mask in Crash Bandicoot says Ruta Baga. That's the official uh, stance on what the mask says. But I don't know. Like Rutabaga, but a little bit different. As a kid, I just thought it said Ooga Booga. Simple, right? It's trying to assert dominance and scare its enemies. I'll just I'll whistle and it'll it'll figure itself out. 
Monyatoma. Okay. Drawing parabolas. Okay, I I I, I, I see you. I, I I really do. I have a shot at it, I have a shot at it, I have a shot at it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It needs to be... more here. It needs to go in a straight line. Oh, no, no, right, no, that's fine, that's fine. I think. Maybe? No, it's not gonna go high enough. Yeah, it's not gonna go high enough. Let it let it finish whatever it's doing. I think I need to hold three and then one falls off. Okay. That might be too close to the edge. Hold on. There. Okay. That yep, that that works too. Okay, stop. I think three should be enough. Yeah, I could I could solve the puzzle. Or I could just do that. <laughs> I'm good. That's resourcefulness. That's the only upside of Octorok, is just... They enable you to do this. Ooh, one more and then it's halfway. I mean, from a shrine perspective, not from a Korok perspective, but... I kind of figure I'll find all the shrines before the Koroks. The thing is, there are some areas that are heavier on shrines than others, so... Oh, look, it's raining again. Doing good, thank you. Ah, I mean, been putting in my hours. Okay, uh. No, 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 what, what's the button? What's the button? There's a button where. 
that's the button. That's the button I'm looking for. Yeah, this. This helps the horse go down areas that it just refuses to go down. lap around here and then we're going to take a, a little trip. <laughs> going to live the ultimate fantasy of uh, home ownership. And I mean it in the sense of like a house that is bigger than a, a box. Affordable home ownership. ownership isn't real. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't mind a small house. It's just I don't like things being small for the sake of like squeezing in as many of these places in right like i think if it's something like a very small in terms of room numbers there's nothing wrong with it as long as those room sizes are nice and comfortable that's fine but like see take where i am currently right now, the room I'm in, anyone would call it a study. It's a study. It's it's like it's it's not a big room. It is it is pretty pretty damn small. And yet the way this this sort of house is marketed, it's a two bedroom. It's not a two bedroom. It's a one bedroom with a study. Like you cannot you cannot call this a bedroom. But that's just the reality of shit. <laughs> you fit a bed in here and that's it. Oh, having a study is great. I mean, this is where I, I work from and stream from, so it was mandatory for me. But I realize it's always not the best option. I'm surprised there was nothing there. Right, I'm gonna go see if there's a stable lady. And I mean a horse stable lady, not someone who's, uh, you know, stability. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Isn't English wonderful? Epona, please. <laughs> no showboating. Yeah, there wasn't one. Yeah, I mean, I saw the horses there, didn't see one. Yeah. <laughs> 
If I hold ZL, yeah, I've been tapping ZL, spamming it to get it unstuck. I've been tapping it. Yeah, there's, there's a button which is quite literally fix the horse. Okay, we are going on a trip to purchase a house. What are, you, what are you referencing this like we're going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship? I don't know what that is. Am I just a boomer for not knowing what that is? Or is this just something specifically American? Maybe I know what it is. Where is this Korok? I also hate that it's right here. Little Einstein's okay. I haven't seen it. Now I want to find out if this shit existed in Australia. Animated series. What the fuck? Okay, so it's for like from the 2000s, so I wasn't a kid. So this is understandable. But then... Hang on, where's the Wikipedia article? American! American, American, American. Did it distribute in Australia? Let's see. Haha! -ha! It did not. Um, they did a UK adaptation. And certain American terms were converted to British vernacular. <laughs> Changing mentions of candy canes. To become mentions of sweetie sticks. <laughs> sweetie sticks? Sweetie stick. I, I haven't heard- I've never heard of sweetie sticks, I'm sorry. Is that really- is that really what they're called? I don't know- well that- that's what the article says. It says in the UK they changed any mention of candy cane to become sweetie sticks. I have to listen to this theme song. I wish I could, but DMCA is a thing and it's going to get flagged for copyright. Now, I could listen to it and you won't be able to hear the audio if you really want me to listen to it. And then you have my reaction, right? But I can't play it through the stream because then most likely later on YouTube it'll be like, Sorry, this video has been claimed by whoever owns the rights to that. You call candy canes candy canes. Well, that's that's what I would have thought. I didn't think there was a difference, but sweeties, sweetie sticks. Uh, hold on. Also, hello, Hyper Kirby. <laughs> oh, where is this Korok? <laughs> Yeah, we were just talking about our little Einsteins because everyone was saying we were going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship and I have no idea what the heck people meant. Okay, I'm going to listen to it, but I'm going to mute it, okay? Little Einstein's theme. Okay, okay. I'll tell you when I'm listening to it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna listen to it. Three, two, one, clicking. Oh. Oh.
Das ist, das ist eher um, If this, if this would have aired in Australia, th this is something that one of, one of my younger brothers would have watched. Because this is like from the era when they were little kids. And this would have gotten stuck in my head and I would have hated it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's definitely an, it's definitely an earworm for sure. Wonder pets? Oh, for fuck's sake! I don't even know that. It... Um, I have to look this up because I don't. I want to convey that I'm not old, and this is just this is just Americanisms here. Wonder pets. I'm muting again. Wonder pets. Okay, let me looking at it. It's a show from a very similar era. Another American educational TV show. So okay, that would be why. And then international releases. Let's see. It, yeah, and this is specifically an American thing. So didn't doesn't look like this one aired anywhere else. By the looks of it, it did go to Nickelodeon eventually. So maybe through that, but. Other than that, um, yeah, it, it doesn't look like, it didn't reach Australia by the looks of it. <laughs> so, okay, now I'm going to listen to this theme song because of course I, I, I want, I just want to know. Okay, Wonder Pets official audio, here we go. Congratulations, you've officially derailed the stream. Oh jeez, I can just picture the Nick Jr. vibes. Right, I don't know if I can listen to all of this. I I, I can't I can't listen to all I can't I can't listen to this. <laughs> I stopped. This is this is just like Nick Jr. I can I can already picture it. This this is the sort of stuff that my younger brothers would have watched over and over again. Blue's Clues was like bad enough, but at least it was bearable. But there was all those shows from that era, like Blue's Clues, Bear in the Big Big House, or whatever it was. Um, what, the, what was another one? I don't remember, but you know. Anyway, <laughs> it's not about being old. These shows specifically are American. So they it looks like they didn't get releases uh elsewhere with the ex exception of the last one which got localized for UK television sweetie sticks <laughs> I I want to know the reasoning behind that like why can't you call it a candy cane why why a sweetie stick Did I watch the version that is just kids yelling? No, there's one that was actually the th the theme song. And I just, I just immediately was like, this is, this is Nick Jr. <laughs> just immediately. I got, I got taken back to a place where my younger brothers would be like, with a VHS, I want to watch this. Or, you know, we, for the brief period we had cable. They wanted to change the channel to Nick Jr. and watch something on Nick Jr. Huh. It took me back to that that time. Do call candy sweets, but sweetie six aren't a thing. Yeah, I mean, like we call, we don't call candy candy, right? Candy for us is is hard candy. Yeah. And then soft candy is lollies, which I know, I know you're going to laugh at that one. It, I know it has a diff, but it's spelled L-O-L-L-I-E-S. Not, not the lolly you're thinking of.
Did I have Gala Gala Island as a kid? Don't think so, no. The stuff that was from what my parents told me. The stuff that was on Australian television when I was a kid. Um, it was like Gumby, Pingu, uh, Baba, the elephant. What else? And then when I was a bit older, it was all the, the Nicktoon stuff. Did I abandon the one Korok? No, I found it. I found it. It was it was in a tree stump. Okay, from here on out, I'm just going to ride there. As I don't really need to cover land. We're just going to head to the thing. No, the, the shit that was an earworm for me... Um, so, I, you, Americans would be aware of, uh, the Wiggles, because the Wiggles did make it to America, eventually. But there was another group in Australia called High Five, like, H-I, the number five. And my, one of my brothers li loved, loved them. And, uh, yeah, it was just, man... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, at least the Wiggles, I, I can... I can listen to that. It's fine. That doesn't bother me. Because they used to be a band. Before they became the Wiggles, they were a rock band, and then they decided to get into children's music. So they know how to make music. That They are fine. Yeah. Right? It's not like other, other groups where it's just like some... Someone else doing the music and then people singing over auto tune, typically. You hated the Wiggles? Is there a reason you hate the Wiggles? A particular memory or a song that has led led to that uh, place? Did you burn your hands on a hot potato? Or do you maybe not like cold spaghetti? I mean, cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. It's, it's spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> I'm sorry. What about mashed banana? Do you like mashed banana, mashed banana? I hope you know what song I'm referencing there. <laughs> no? Okay, I, I have to li I'm gonna- Now, I've watched- I've watched- I've been very accommodating and have watched these American kid shows. Now you're gonna- Now you're gonna listen to this Wiggle song. And it's classic. Yeah, this is the one. Alright. Enjoy. It's also very crusty quality, so it's it's old and that's what we want. <laughs> BRB, enjoy. And for those of you watching at home later, um, the video from the Wiggles I'm talking about is the Hot Potato Song by the Wiggles. That was, you know, the lines I was reading out. I was trying to, I was trying to be clever with that. Why is there a star here? Oh, no, because I said really good ingredients there. That's where the radish is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Stable, is there a... Yep, there we go. Yellow. 
Yo. Okay. Change the gear. Yes. This horse is different from any horse I've ever seen. My, she's so lovely and graceful. Pretty sure this little lady would absolutely hate it if you changed her mane or gear. Oh. So I can't even equip that horse. Okay, well. Wait, so I can't put ancient horse gear on the pona? I mean, I don't plan to change the mane. It's more the, uh... The saddle. But I guess it's already accounted for. Alright. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Epona, please. Unstuck. I put new gear on opponent if I edit the save file. Psh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Huh. Oh, you can do it. It wasn't a question. It was. I only looked at it. Yeah, but like, yeah. it's fine. I wouldn't want to, like, have lawyers knocking on my door. Citizen, you have violated the law. You have edited and modified the game. The song's gonna be stuck in your head. It's a bit it's a bit of an earworm. Gets stuck. Ah, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. We want to go Akala region, which is this way. There we go. I forget that I don't have to press buttons and the panel will stick to the road. Yeah. It's too much effort. I'm good. Huh. It's very minor. This is just to get, take the trip to Akala. But after that, I'm getting off the horse because we're going to a mountain area anyway. And when I'm exploring, I like to walk around instead of being on a horse because it's just cumbersome. Okay, this is a spot that I... Why did I not look here? You see, this, this is why I'm trying to get coverage as best as I can because this is going to happen later. I'm going to look at the map and I'm going to be like, oh, this doesn't look like I explored everything. Maybe Korok exists. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to link any music from High Five cuz just if I hear even 2 seconds of it, it's just it's not going to take me to a fun memory. <laughs> it's just oh no. I want to forget their songs. But, you know, if you're curious, you can look it up yourself. Another thing is, Australian TV shows in the 90s had, for whatever reason, they had just well-produced theme songs. I don't know why.
They make those kids' songs catchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... I suppose it, for entertaining a kid and keeping them entertained, it's good, but the only problem is, is that you as, as the person looking after the child gets these songs stuck in your head because they, they forget the memories of listening to this music. You don't. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what song I remember um, from me being a kid? Um, that sometimes, every now and then, pops in my head. On Sesame Street, they had this sequence where you're in a pinball machine, and then they would just count to ten. Does anyone know what I'm talking about here? Or do they still use that sequence, or is this just like? An abandoned one. But it was a pinball machine and it was an animation. See, now I sound old. <laughs> Family Guy referenced it. Yeah, yeah? That's topical. Watch, uh, it was on Sesame Street. I mean, I can find the song. But yeah, it was just pinball, and uh, they would count to ten, and one of the one of the numbers would be a featured number. Or was it twelve? Eleven, twelve? I can't remember. But pinball definitely the thing that it was. Uh, I don't, rem don't remember that one. The only remember is the count or the organ. Okay, I do remember the count or the organ. Alright, I'm gonna find this one. Today is like earworms. I can't play it. I mean, I would, but you know, this is the state of streaming. You have to fucking worry about what's gonna get claimed. Uh, Sesame. It was up to 12. Okay. Oof, it's, it comes up in a, like, celebrating 50 years of Sesame Street. It's possible that this was animated earlier, and they just used it for the longest amount of time. Yeah, there's a little bit of ASMR on it as well, so. There you go, enjoy. <laughs> um, for those that are looking for this later... Sesame Street Pinball Animation Countdown. It's a catchy song as well. Oh shit. Okay, we gotta be careful here. If they start chasing me, I'm getting off a Pona. I don't want a Pona to die. Pona, you must behave yourself here. No, no fences, no problem. The showboating. In the moment it's anything remotely steep, I'm gonna have to do this myself. And then I'll, I'll whistle for a pony to come down.
You know what? I just realized I'm going to Hatina, but then to go, I'm going to Akala first, and then I guess I have to divert and go to Hatino to purchase the house. This is this is a heck of a a road trip, but whatever. That's fine. I need the ancient arrows, and now that I have money, probably not the worst idea. I'll wait for a pona. A pona can hear me. There you are. Alright. A lot of flashing. Really? Yeah, I suppose there would have been. But, you know, the song is catchy. And not in an annoying way, either. Not in an annoying way, either, compared to some children's music. I don't think that one's annoying. I think that one's pretty catchy. And it's a timeless thing. There's no fast travel rule. Oh, man. probably purchase more arrows from Beetle because I am going to exchange some of these for our ancient arrows. Okay, Pona, this is going to be scary, but you need to ride straight through and not stop. Go. Alright. <laughs> Everything's fine. I might not risk it and I'm just gonna walk it down. I'm not sure how it is on the way down. On the way up, I had confidence. On the way down, not so much. Okay. I can only make a few more. Alright, that'll do. Hi. When one receives such scars on their body, well, they can leave lasting memories on their mind as well. Um. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. We're off to Hateno. I'm just gonna walk past, uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Because I don't want to risk... I want to try my hardest to not have my horse die, you know? They can die, yeah. <laughs> they can die. And then you have to go to, um... The spring... The fairy spring that resurrects horses. But 
first time I played this, I almost got through it. My horse died right before I killed Calamity Ganon. But I almost got through the game <laughs> without letting it die. Love is the answer. Yeah. How are you feeling? Car, could it not be energetic rider meter? Another hearty elixir. Another one. Well, oh, thank you, Beetle. That's two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a day, and it's going to come sooner rather than later, where I'm just gonna make a reference to Little John, and no one is gonna know why the fuck I'm screaming, why I'm saying yeah yeah. It's going to happen. Uh. Oh. That's so true. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I bet some of my younger youngest cousins would not know who Little John is. I don't think he still does music. It was just... The early 2000s were just about... Hype men that just scream the same thing over and over again. <laughs> there was Little John from Little John and the East Side Boys. There was Batman Scoop. Who just used to say his name over and over again. I think, like, DJ Khaled is, like, one of the last of that breed. Oh, there's Korok here. Where? What are my expectations of Tears of the Kingdom? I mean, I expect to enjoy myself, that's about it. The thing is, they haven't really shown too much about it, so... Other than the hope that... There are dungeons, or, or areas at least, like Hyrule Castle. That's... There's not a whole lot I can go off. Areas like Hyrule Castle... Oh, please, for the love of God, don't let it rain constantly. Or at the very least, let us have a way to climb in the rain. And I guess performance. Because this engine, surely they've worked on that in the last six years. And not have 10 FPS areas. Where is this Korok? I think this is a roaming one, hang on. Yeah, it is. That's where it is. Got it. The 2000s was an experimental era, in your opinion. You could say that about anything when you look at it in retrospect. Like, so was the 90s. <laughs> I mean, look at look at the kind of clothing and haircut that was in the nineties. Or the fact that you know, the way children were marketed to in the nineteen nineties was like, hey, we need to appeal to children. What do we do? How about we turn our product into rap music? That goes. Mega dope, hyper funky, fresh with the kids, yo. Now, I'm being ironic when I say that because that's just how the executives thought. But I think every era has some semblance of just... When you look back on that, it's just, man, that was, that was some shit right there. Why did they ever do that? 
everything was graffiti, yeah. And I mean, the boy band thing- uh oh, I killed a fox. You're more into punk rock than rap. Yeah, I mean, that was also valid, right? It was, um, there was gross out humor and punk and, you know, being the, uh, the rebel, rebellion, right? That was another, the second way to mark it. I keep killing shit. I just killed a tiny bird. Austra Do you know how wild Australian commercials were for video games? Like, they were unhinged. <laughs> There's one that comes to mind. I've shown it a few times on stream. Um, it was for the DS era, and I think that was probably the last time we had those kind of commercials, but this, was, this one was distinctly Australian. I can show it if you want, because I think this one is, is, it's an ad, so there's no issues with DMCA. But I've, I've shown it a few times, so that's why I'm, I'm, uh, a little hesitant to show it. I see it was Messiah's birthday, I should have shown it then, because it's, it's a relevant commercial. What you would give to unbox a brand new white DS Lite and feel its glossy raised logo again? What I would give to go be able to go back in time and tell my younger self, yo, those cardboard boxes for Pokemon and your Super Nintendo games, for the love of fucking God, put them somewhere safe. Don't let them get thrown out. Just please keep them pristine condition. The manuals, don't touch them. I think that is like the 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 thing that I think about the most is just that that those boxes were thrown out at some point and the manuals probably got torn and just not taken care of and it's just man That's why I appreciated the DS era so much because it's, it was like I was experiencing the Game Boy era again with a portable, but this time the boxes were made out of plastic and they were nice. Unfortunately, the games stopped having manuals after the the 3DS, but the DS era still had manuals and it was cool to experience that. Like, that was another no level of nostalgia I had. <laughs> But come on, what I just said, surely that you would feel it, right? Like, you would have wanted one of your childhood games to still be around in its original box with its manual and everything. It's just, at least my, my game cartridges are pretty well taken care of, with the exception of one or two. But, yeah, man. I watch these videos with these pristine NES era and Game Boy era boxes, and I'm like, ah, oh. Because the artwork on them was so cool. Nintendo Europe has posters, large posters of, uh... Some of my favorite Game Boy games, and Nintendo Australia just won't do that. They never have cool merchandise. Anyway. When I go purchase the house, I'll show this commercial I'm talking about. As a, as a little bonus. If you want to talk about experimental stuff. The commercial for the Game Boy Micro, that was very experimental as well. 
That that was Nintendo being pretty unhinged. At least the other one it wasn't Nintendo, the one that I'm talking about. Like it was Yeah, you'll see. The micro wasn't advertised, really? Okay, well I'll bring up the, the commercial for the Game Boy Micro as well. I'll do both. Um Hang on. What is the path of least resistance? I think it's following this. You remember going to your cousin. He had one and you wanted to seal it so badly. That thing was sweet. It was a really nice piece of hardware. I mean, not very practical. But it looked, it looked nice. It looked pretty nice. I saw... I knew... Well, I saw one... Um, from an acquaintance, uh, they had, uh, the Famicom one, and that, oh man, that, that looks so good. Just the color scheme and everything. <laughs> one of the very few times your morals were tested over a Game Boy. Yeah. Well, at least that's that's gamer points either way. Even if you didn't go through with that, it's, it's the thought that counts, right? Um. Yeah, I need to cross this bridge. It was backlit, and you were straining to see the stupid advanced screen. Yeah, no back backlights were. The luxury. <laughs> As someone that... Okay, the Game Boy Color was my primary Game Boy. However, I did experience the... The big boy. The one that required four batteries and, um... Oh, what the... F what the fuck is this? Okay, opponent, you're just gonna have to figure it out. I know you will. This is another way to get the horse to just do its thing, is just... But yeah, not only was the big boy, the thick boy, just not backlit, but the screen was horrible. Even under ideal lighting conditions, you just could not really... It was never ideal. There was no such thing as like, oh wow, this looks good, this looks good. And then the low refresh rate causing motion blur. Imagine trying to play a Mario game with motion blur. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> Try playing Super Mario Land with motion blur when you're running. Oh, man. But, you know, everyone wanted a Game Boy. The The Game Gear was not successful. Because it was the superior hardware, but it just... Its battery didn't last. And, uh, I guess it just did, didn't get as much support, but, you know. The battery life on the Game Boy was insane for what it was. I mean, even later with, with the Game Boy Advance, it was still really good. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. The batteries were never enough, but when you look at how long it lasted, it was pretty damn good. Why? <laughs> Am I just that bad at riding a horse? Yeah. 
I should just let auto pathing do its thing. Okay, where is this headed? Yep, keep following this road. No, Wipona. You know what desperation was when it came to batteries with portables? <laughs> desperation was. I don't know if any of you did this, but there was like a. There was a rumor just amongst kids that, uh. If you put your batteries out in the sun for a bit, they would gain a bit of charge. I definitely had to do that a few times because my parents wouldn't wouldn't go to buy batteries. They're like, we're not going to the store just to buy batteries. It's like, next time we're at the store, you'll get batteries. So we used to put them out in the sun. Because <laughs> we heard at school, well, oh, yeah, no. It works. Pretty sure it didn't work. Yeah. Remember those batteries with the buttons to see the battery level? Yes, and I think that's where the uh, the legend started. It was, you would put those batteries out in the sun and then you would see the indicator, it would be like, Oh, it has charge! Like, I think it's confirmation bias. There's probably some other reason it lit up again. That's the bridge I need to go to. You would use the TV controller batteries. <laughs> Unfortunately, the TV controller we had would use AAA batteries, so... And the Game Boy was AA. But that is... that is a uh, galaxy brain right there. You had rechargeable batteries when you were a kid. You were living the life of luxury there. I didn't know the old tinfoil trick. Tinfoil trick? Yeah. Wrap it in tinfoil and what, put it outside or is this something else? Fill the gap with tinfoil to make the AAA fit. Oh, but... I feel like that's playing with fire. <laughs> Pretty... I'm sure it worked, but was it the safest thing? I don't know. What? Okay. Apparently I missed the Korok here. That's interesting. See what I mean? It's like, I could be as... I could... Oh, there it is. I could be as thorough as I think I'm being, but I'm still gonna miss stuff at the end of the day. I thought, uh, yeah, this area was good and done. Nope. Not having Game Boy though, that's... Man. It's such a... I mean, even even if you were more of a teenager when that thing was out, it was still... It was still such a iconic thing. I think it's, it's gotta be like the most recognizable device of that era, you know what I mean? It's like... Even if you didn't technically grow up with it or were alive during that period, you know of it. 
It just has it just has this legacy. Still have your Game Boy Color. My Game Boy Color is with my brother. But they gifted me a new Game Boy Color that they um they customize, so they put a- one of them can do hardware mods to some degree. So he, uh... He put a backlit screen, a good screen in it at that as well, and, uh... <laughs> you can control the backlight strength on it, it's, it's kind of weird. But it has my streamer logo, and it's in my streamer colors as well. So they customized the shell. And they made a box for it. It was really nice of them. So I have it here on my shelf. It's it's just there. Yeah, it's cool. And you know, I've I've played on it. It's it's less for playing and more just it's it's a highly sentimental thing. Why am I putting it? Yeah, I need to just look at the map like this. I just want to go to Tatin or... But I mean, when I'm playing the Game Boy games, it's on the analog pocket now. Because that's just such a good handheld. And it's what I've been using to stream the Game Boy games this year. You liked the quality of those streams, like, visually and from an audio perspective. It's because of that handheld. I think that vendor was being attacked because of me. So I guess, I mean, this wasn't a total waste because I did find Korok that I, I just didn't find before, so. Ages stream looked so good. Yeah. That's why I took the break from the Zelda games, because I played Seasons, and I just, I wasn't, I wasn't happy with how it looked, but also, um, just, it was played on the GameCube, and it worked. It's just the controller was just so uncomfortable. So, at that point, I already ordered it, so I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll wait for it to come in, um... I'll still probably get the Zelda games done on time, and the experience is just going to be much better. And it, it was. It won't be the last time you'll see me use it. Like, I do want to play, um... The Metroid games as well. Right? So that'll be an awesome experience to play, um, Zero Mission and Fusion on that thing. So we will see that in the future. Also, Warrior Land 4, because I've never played that, and I do have it, so that is another one. And Warrior Land 3, so I'm gonna get use out of it. In fact, I'm using it to... Every now and then I pick up Battletoads on the NES and play it and see how far I can... Did that just appear out of thin air? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Aren't you perky? Well then, did you get the 3,000? Yes. Seriously, you're gonna give me 3,000? Like with three zeros? You aren't just posturing. I'll shell out. No way! Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. We're a homeowner! Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything. At your age, it's just so studly. There's a weapon mount in there that... Never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. So, next time... Next job time, baby. What have I got lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was gonna set Hudson to Akala to clear some land. Okay, and that's where now we do, um... The whole sun quest thing. Just the pup coming in. Don't worry about it. Anyway, what? Look, I gotta head out and leave this place soon. Why? I've been transferred. Transferred? Might have heard Bolson Construction is planning to expand big time. Yeah, big expansion. Where will we go? Zora's Domain is north of here. We're heading north of that, though. An area called the Akala region. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, then. Yeah, we know where they're headed. Well, no time like the present. I should be getting on my way. If you like, you should come say hello to the Akala region. And we have to go... Did stream die? Mm, hope not. No. Then again, you can't see the answer if it did die. It looks like it was you. <laughs> I'm looking at the bitrate. Everything is fine. Um, let me check packet loss. No dropped frames. We're good. Anyway, we're a house owner. Um, and that's... The town... But you don't really do much with, with this, really, right? It's just, you have weapon racks, and that's about it. So if there's a weapon I like, I can display it. Okay. Use it for the champion's weapon? That's a good idea. Unfortunately, I dropped the trident, and I I don't know if it respawns. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Not sure where. Okay, I did promise these commercials, so we're taking a commercial break, but not in the way you think. We're gonna- I'm gonna show you this Australian commercial from the early 2000s, um, for the, the DS. And also the Game Boy Micro. We'll start with the Game Boy Micro. So give me a sec. I'll just cue this up, so it's... Okay, so that's that one. And then we want Game Boy Micro Commercial. That's the one. Okay, so first first one up is the uh the Game Boy Micro Commercial. Okay. Give me a sec. I want to make sure that I still have chat on the screen. You can buy a new one, but it ain't cheap. Yeah, I bet. Because it was more of a collector's item than something practical. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm just fucking around with sources. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, let me... Let me hide the death counter for a minute. Oh, hold on. Okay, it's gone. Cool. Yeah, so check this out. This is the Game Boy Micro commercial. As Nintendo begins to take on new forms, it's important that we can measure how addictive they truly are. And that's the Game Boy Micro, for those that don't know. The new Game Boy Micro. Extremely portable. Extremely stylish. Official Nintendo commercial. It's from Canada. Looking at the domain. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll load up the next one.
Okay. Let's do theater mode. Okay. This this one, I'm not gonna say anything about it. We're just gonna watch it. Okay, here we go. Let's come on through. Sophie, Hudson's over there, sweetie. I'll go and get the cake. Hundred percent real commercial, by the way. I, I just wanna point that out. Thanks. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hudson. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck is this? <gasps> Fucking sponge cake! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> You know, we, we do things a little bit different in Australia. Um, what can I say? <laughs> I don't know why that still gets me, anyway. <sighs> you can say fuck on TV in Australia. Uh, on certain channels at certain times, yes. You can. Do I miss the 2000s era? Ah, uh, I mean, not really, if I'm being honest. I think... It's one of those things where I have nostalgia for stuff from it, but do I miss it necessarily? Not, not particularly. Because there are some things that have improved since then. For example, in the context of Australia, right? In that era, games would release in America. Sorry, they would release in Japan first, then America shortly after. Then Europe, then Australia if we're lucky. <laughs> Australian releases would be like six months to a year after they were available everywhere else. And sometimes the games just straight up wouldn't wouldn't uh, release here. Like, we didn't get uh, Mario RPG. We didn't get Chrono Trigger. I just found another Korok. There's a bunch of games that just didn't release here. And that's something I don't miss from that era. Just that, you know getting excited for a game that you read about in a magazine and then it's like lol jk not coming out but for the stuff that was around from that era sure i i have nostalgia for it but i can't just take those things on their own like i have to take everything from that era I do miss cartoon shows from that era more. Like, I would say that wholeheartedly I definitely miss more. I, I like cartoons from that era. That was, like, peak Cartoon Network, peak Nickelodeon. Just so much good shit at that time. I can't believe I missed this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna head back to where I was. <laughs> Be honest, when you thought when you saw that commercial, where did you think it was going? What did what did you think was going to happen though? There's, an, there's another classic one from New Zealand as well. But that one I, I won't show because it's like... It's shock humor. But it's meant to be a serious commercial. Just that sort of... Twisting the expectation. 
Didn't expect him to knock the cake out and start cursing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the joke is, is like, got got the got the game and became a rock star. And, you know, that's how rock stars behave. They're just wankers. Why are you putting your pitchfork up? What was what was that? Wait, a point of why? There you go. Why didn't you? I did. I wasn't pressing anything. Just decided not to continue on the road. So much for auto -parthing. I Can't wait to get off this horse. <laughs> not joking. It just. Ah. Oh, just. I hate them. I prefer the motorcycle. I mean, the Game Bro Micro Commercial was just not something I would expect of Nintendo, but they, here we are. I'm not going to go to do the Akala region thing. That can wait. Let me course correct, don't <laughs> just stop. Yeah. What's the point of handing over control of the horse if it's just gonna stop? Huh. Am I the only one that just has complaints about the horse? Like, is it just me that, that is bad at controlling the horse or is this just... Is this just, uh, just a common thing that people think that the horse handling is, is not good? I can't be on my own on this one, like, it's just... They need to be like the horses in Skyrim. From a lot of streamers, the horse handling is bad. All right, good. I'm not alone. Oh my god! <laughs> Just go! That's just walk- walking would take twice as long, if not longer. So I'm just doing this to... Not let this really drag out longer than it needs to. Uh oh. No, it's fine. Are you going to jump this? Good. Good job. And I keep finding more. OK. 
Okay, I see them. Is this cheating? Would you classify this as cheating? <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Oh, that's why. It's because it's it's not in an area that I've explored properly. Okay, this is fair. This is another tower. This isn't the tower I seek. But I'll get it, since it was there. Okay, do I need to cross... I need to cross this bridge, and then... We follow this up. Okay. I wonder if just getting so I'm, I mean I'm not truly frustrated but I wonder if these little outbursts and sounds that I make are gonna be bad for my health in the long run I can't help but think that <laughs> just slowly but surely Is this, is this a bad path? No. That's fine. Because one of them goes through the part where there's guardians, and we don't we don't want to do that. Huh. Yeah. I just I trusted that that was going to be okay. The ancient arrows were necessary, the house was not necessary. I <laughs> could have gone without buying the house. Yeah. But I figured get it out of the way because then that starts the quest line for that town. And we might do it. If there's time, why not? Yeah. Three trees, is that a... I'm surprised that's not a Korok. Fake out. Huh. 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 
Nearly there. Nearly there. <sighs> oh wow, look at the time. It's gotten a lot later since I last checked. What was that? <laughs> Technically I intervened. I helped. Okay, so this is the part where it's manual intervention. Okay, 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 Pona, okay. Sticking to this because whilst it is a little more annoying, yeah. it's safer because down there there's uh there's more enemies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh. Maybe we'll get Skyrim horses. I doubt it. <laughs> I think the horses are going to be the same. The big question that remains is like, is there still stuff to do in this world? Or is a lot of it just going to take place in the sky? Like, what the split is going to be? Is this world going to still be valid in terms of shit to do? Completely clear this, so this makes sense. I'm sorry. That thing was already aiming for where I was climbing? Okay. Already had the shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, death count is off the screen. Hold on. Forgot to put it back on. And that's at 145. Okay. Where did I die? Yeah, it's like there. Yeah. 
So now there's a lion up here. Watch the same skeleton pop up again. <laughs> yeah, ha ha! 353. Man. I heard it. Gonna make sure I cover my bases here. That was a fake out. Multiple trees, nothing to do. I think I just have to explore this pocket and then that's for the time being. I'm sure there's probably something I've missed. Did I do the shrine by the stables? This one? Yeah. There's another one here. Which is the one I'm going for now. Somewhere here. Huh. Wait, isn't it? There's a hole that you're supposed to blow up. at the wrong spot. It should be here. I think it's a, yeah, there it is. There it is. It's just on a side angle. the right spot, I just 
forgot more or less that it was on a bit of a weird angle. But I think I don't think there's a Korok along here because of the the thing. The enemy base there. Sometimes climbing. Can't tell what I can run up. Do I have that bandana? Uh, no, but it's not allowed, remember? The only thing I'm allowed to wear is a Korok mask. And then, when it is a hard requirement, because it is pretty much impossible to progress the clothing for the region, so whether it, that's like heat, sorry, not heat, um, flame resistant, because obviously that's mountain, right? Thought it was anything with one armor. No, it's, I excuse the croc mask because it has one armor, it's negligible. And it's just for the Korok hunt, but anything else, like, that's providing me utility and an advantage, so, no go. It's only when it's absolutely required. The exceptions pretty much are Death Mountain, the Gerudo area to get into the town, and then the Zora area because, you know, it's going to be raining there. I need it to get to high ground, otherwise it's, it's just, it's, it's, it wouldn't be enjoyable to watch. Definitely doable without it, but it wouldn't be enjoyable to watch. So, yeah. Wait, already worthy? This, this is not a, how am I already worthy? I guess because there was some puzzle I needed to solve. Magnora. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. There are crocs that require the swim up waterfalls thing. Yeah, probably. Anyway, that is number 60, dear chat. So that is the halfway point for the shrines. Pretty sure. Sixty. Halfway. Wish I could say the same about the Koroks, but the Koroks are a bit different. I mean, 353 is still pretty respectable, I think. Alright, and so this is where I'm wrapping up the stream for tonight. It is late, and I have work in the morning. Got a big day tomorrow, so... I gotta make sure I get my proper sleep. But I do hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out. Especially if you're new around here. Thanks for checking out the stream. Whilst I'm away, if you want to watch more of my content, you can always uh, head on over to YouTube. These particular streams for Breath of the Wild, I'm uploading them the next day. So if you missed some of the stuff that's been happening, all, all the previous ones are up and available. And uh, if you want to watch any of the other Zelda games I've played, they're also there along with a bunch of other stuff. But 
yeah, more details, go to shambles.gg and you'll find links to everything I do on the internet. So hope you do check it out. I'll be back tomorrow for the start of my long weekend and uh, we'll progress more through this. What else do I usually say? Oh yeah, acknowledge YouTube exists. Hello YouTube and bye YouTube. <laughs> Considering pressing all the buttons and, you know, algorithm stuff. Okay. Bye. <laughs>